Here you can see how we integrate shader graph into the terrain surface and enable blending of meshes far more seamlessly. So this is one of those kind of long-standing feature requests and um, I think it looks pretty nice. And here we have an example of how, how you can integrate hero assets in and have all of your rules, materials, scattered assets, and masks respond to your placement. So this basically means you can spend more time finding the perfect layout of the level without having to worry and rework everything if you change your mind. Absolutely love this thing, it's great. Um, so performance as well, it's virtual texturing, the tessellation, and they provide more detail in the world close to, to the player where they can see it the most and it automatically reduces complexity away from the camera to optimize performance. And here we can see how the system is quickly setting up procedurally scattered objects like speed trees. Uh, remember, this is using entities under the hood, so uh, we enable density up close and then scale in the background, which makes the, the best use of the capabilities of the, the target hardware device. And all of this equates to performance at scale for your most ambitious endeavors. And of course, it would make sense for us to release tools like this only on high-end platforms. So we want to offer you the flexibility to choose the right platforms for your creations, no matter what your ambition. Whether you're targeting mobile, PC, console, XR, we want to give you stunning graphics <coughs> and performance. Let's recap now, Andrew. So, we have ECS for all, built into the core of Unity, powering game, game objects and unlocking big performance boosts for everybody. We have new features coming built on this foundation, a new animation system, and a new world building system. And these target flexibility, scale, platform reach, 